In this quick tutorial, you're going to get a short introduction to the post effects in iClone 5. To find the post effects, just go to the Stage tab and the Effects section, and they will be displayed at the side in the Content Manager. I'm going to first apply a blur effect to this scene here, just by double-clicking it in the Content Manager. This effect has a slider that I can adjust in the Modify panel to the right to determine the strength of the blur. Keep in mind that all these effects are keyable, meaning you can fade them in and out of your scene. I'll just delete the blur effect and add in the Color Adjust effect now. Here, I can create a number of different combination effects by adjusting the brightness, contrast, and level of color in the scene. Next up is the Color Adjust effect, in which I can create different hues in my scene by adjusting the levels of red, green, and blue. After that, we have the Lens Blur, which is a pretty cool effect. You can see the effect it has here as I move the slider. I'm going to key in this effect, so I'll make sure I'm at frame 1, adjust my blur level to 0, and then scrub ahead on the timeline, and adjust it all the way to maximum. Then I'll move it ahead once again and adjust the position of the lens blur focus, which will cause it to move in the animation. So when I play back now, you can see the cool zoom and movement lens blur effect. Let's move on to NPR, which stands for Non-Photorealistic Rendering. You can see that if I decrease the level of color and increase the paint weight, I can create a pretty unique looking Photoshop style effect. This same style of effect will apply to the whole scene from every angle, as you can see while I pan around the camera a little. So that's about it for post effects. They're simple, visually appealing, and easy to use. So why not try some in your next project?